Well, the new year, it's fast approaching, which means for some people, it's time to spice up their look. In recent years, the demand for cosmetic enhancements like Botox and fillers has skyrocketed, which is why it is important to do your research and go to someone reliable. News Phil's Faith Graham sat down with a board-certified plastic surgeon to learn how to make your experience as safe and as seamless as possible. And you can see that when you smile, you have these little lines here that we're going to try to soften. For Dr. Andreas Nicholas with Clinique des champs élysées the holidays tend to get busy. I would say uh, right now it's the rush to make sure the lines decrease. But as with most procedures, Dr. Nicholas says it's all about timing. So, so patients in general, they want to book their appointments ahead of time. They don't want to end up even with the smallest little bruise at a Christmas party or some type of an event. Their two most popular injectables includes Botox, which freezes muscle. I'm going to put my finger there and I'm going to inject you. And filler. Fillers can be used to reestablish facial proportions, volumize areas that have lost volume, and perhaps reverse some of these signs of aging. But Dr. Nicholas says it all comes down to one thing. It's a simple, simple concept. Less is more. According to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, Botox is one of the top cosmetic procedures across the United States, with Americans spending $16.7 billion on the industry in 2020 alone. The demand has skyrocketed. More importantly, you're seeing the advent of all these new injectors. So obviously, where there is smoke, there is fire. Which is why, along with starting small, he also recommends doing your research. Who is injecting you? Is it a nameless face or is there somebody that you can talk to if something does not go right? To learn more about what services medical spas like Dr. Nicholas's office offers, head on over to our website news12.com and visit numbers and links. In Manhattan, Faith Graham, News 12.